The first American moon landing is said to have been a complete hoax because someone found something suspicious in the film they provided. In the film provided by NASA, the astronauts left very clear footprints on the moon. It is well known that there is a vacuum on the moon. There can't be moisture in a vacuum and shoe prints depend on moisture to maintain them. So was the film of the first man on the moon faked? To find out the answer to this question, Tori found some sand that approximated the properties of lunar soil and got half of it wet, then had Kelly put on the shoes and leave footprints on the wet and dry sand. At this point, they found that the footprints on the wet sand were indeed clearer than on the dry sand. This seems to support the conspiracy theorists' view, but is this really the case? To further test this claim, they took their homemade treadmill to the space center. The vacuum chamber here perfectly simulates the vacuum of the moon. Next, Tori borrowed a real shoe for the moon landing and put it on the treadle. Because of the limited amount of lunar soil brought back from the entire Apollo mission, NASA rejected their request to use it. But they did lend Mythbusters some simulated lunar topsoil. But in the vacuum, can it make clear shoe prints? Once the vacuum 